Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Omri Reviews and today we're going to be making a delicious creamy almond butter in the Ninja Foodi blender, you guys. You guys, this is a super easy recipe uh, to make in your Ninja Foodi blender. I cannot figure out what this machine cannot do because you guys, it does everything. So today we're going to be making this delicious almond butter. I added it to some toast, you guys can see. Um, if you're interested in any of the items that I used today in the video, be sure to check the description box below. I will have the links for everything. And if I don't, let me know in the comments and I will add it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more Ninja Foodie bl Blender recipes coming your way on my channel, Nighttime Mom Your Reviews. Um, and let me know in the comments what you guys think, but let's go ahead and dive right into making this delicious almond butter in the Ninja Foodie Blender. Alright, so what we're going to need are two cups of almonds, and these are baked already, so you're going to want to bake them at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. I did about 11 minutes, and then you want to cool them to room temperature. So you want to let them cool off until they're, uh, it's, until they feel like they're worn in the oven, essentially. And, let's see. Now, I want to let you guys know one thing about this blender. It does have a safety feature that will cause the motor to turn off if you push it too hard and if you're if you don't believe me i want to show you guys actually let's see if it'll allow me this is page 12 of the manual and basically it has a feature that's very similar to let's see uh it's very similar to the vitamix where in order to prevent it from burning out it will basically lock itself for 15 minutes and until it's reset after the 15 minutes and then you could turn it back on so I don't want you guys to get scared if you happen to push the blender a little too hard so that's why we want to bake the almonds and we bake them at 350 degrees and that will help release its own natural oils but also we're going to use about two tablespoons of coconut oil and you can also use almond oil if you want so let's go ahead and get started All right, so we're going to put two tablespoons of coconut oil, and you want to start with that first. All right. One second. And then we're going to add our almonds. Oh, there I go. Okay, this is not working out like I wanted to, so let's just start pouring them in. <laughs> the other ones and then we'll be back all right so you are going to need to be by the blender you will need your tamper because the key is to keep pressing the almonds into the blades but not overworking the the blender so I will show you guys we're gonna go ahead and turn on our blender you want to start low do not go high you want to start low um, so we're gonna do blend low Alright, so the minute's up, and I'm actually going to get a paper towel so that I can place this down here. It's not yet done yet, but I want to show you guys. It's starting to be creamy, okay? So it's starting to get there, but it's stuck around the blades. So you want to push it up towards the center and get from underneath the blades because it has a tendency to go under the blades as well. And that's where the motor will start to burn up. Been down that road. And because of that safety feature, well, there's a reason I know that that statement is in the manual, you guys. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and shake it off. And I'm just using a spatula to lift it um, from, the set, from the edges. And we're going to go back. We're going to do another low cycle just in case so we want to make sure that we get all the big chunks first all right all 
All right, let me just clean that off. Okay, I'll show you guys now. The texture is even smoother. We're getting there, you guys. So it's still pretty creamy or still pretty chunky. So I want to show you guys. Still chunky. So you can kind of use the spatula to get underneath the blades as well. But it is creamy now. So you're starting to get that creamy but chunky kind of feel. So if you like it like that, you can stop now or you can keep going. I'm going to make it a little bit smoother. And this time we're going to run it on high. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go blend high. Okay. Show you guys. Even creamier. Okay, we're getting there. So now you want to just scrape the sides. Just scrape the sides. I love this spatula because it's straight and it allows you to really get where you need to in this blender. So you can scrape the sides right off. do blend and let's go for another high cycle all right let's take a look guys oh, there we go there we have it we have our creamy see that our creamy almond butter so let's get a container you want an airtight container if you want to put it in your refrigerator uh, so let me get a container and we'll be back all right so I have it in the container I have a little airtight container to store it in the refrigerator I'm gonna go ahead and pour it all in here it's best to do about two cups at a time just so that the blender can really process it all and you're not overdoing it or you could blow out the motor so I suggest two cups at a time Mm. That is really good, you guys. I want to show you guys our almond butter. Creamy, smooth, tasty too. And this airtight container, this is the one I like to use. But all you have to do is close it and you can have it in the refrigerator. For a few weeks I don't I doubt it'll last that long at least it doesn't last me that long um, just because we eat it so fast but it can last about a couple weeks so or a few weeks so it's best in the refrigerator but that's how you would make it you guys uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions uh, if you wanted to add any flavoring to it um, you can actually do it as the last step but you want it to cool down you want the almonds to cool down because the blender will get warm so you want it to cool down after it's smooth and then you can add maple syrup um, or vanilla if you wanted to or even honey uh, if you wanted to flavor your almond butter. But this is how you would make it you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more Ninja Foodie Blender recipes coming your way on my channel. Nighttime Mommy Reviews. But until next time you guys have a great night.